Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos, so far we covered nine classical report events, initialization at selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page, end of page, at selection screen on value request for field at selection screen on help request for field at selection screen output. We covered total these nine events as of now. Now we will move on to our next event. Our next event is at selection screen on field field. Now we are specifying specific field. Previously, we covered the event at selection screen. Now we have the event at selection screen on field, field of the selection screen or input screen. Again, this particular event require action from our end. It will not trigger automatically where it requires action from our end. Now, this event will trigger when we perform some action onto the selection screen. Action can be anything. It can be enter. It can be click. So, whenever user performs some action onto the selection screen or input screen, this particular event will trigger at selection screen on field. Now people will ask the question, same to same, whenever we are performing some action onto the selection screen or input screen, at that time, at selection screen event also triggered. Now you are saying this event will also trigger whenever we will perform some action onto the selection screen or input screen. Then what is the difference between both of them? At selection screen event, at what time it triggered? When we perform some action onto the selection screen or input screen, at selection screen on field, this event will also trigger when we perform some action onto the selection screen or input screen, then what is the difference between both of them? Both event, both event at selection screen and at selection screen on field are used to validate the input. The word is common. They are used to validate the input. The difference between both of them is the first difference between both of them is at selection screen is used to validate all the input fields, but at selection screen on field is used to validate a particular input field. Whatever the field you will specify here, that is used to validate a particular input field. At selection screen is used to validate all the input fields of the selection screen or input screen, but at selection screen on field, whatever the field you will specify here, it is used to validate that particular input field present on the selection screen or input screen. We have so many differences. Yes, whenever the practical will start, we will get the full clarity. Whenever practical will start, we will see so many differences between both of them. Now, what is the second difference between both of them? First difference covered at selection screen event is used to validate multiple input fields, whereas at selection screen on field event 
is used to validate a particular input field particular input field suppose simple example if i will simply run this program with the help of add selection screen i can validate this also i can validate this also with the help of single event add selection screen event but if i will specify add selection screen on order date it means i am validating this add selection screen on payment mode it means i am validating this so i am validating individual fields particular fields with the help of add selection screen on field but with the help of add selection screen we can validate all the input fields suppose we have third field currency so with this currency field order date payment mode currency i can validate multiple fields with the help of add selection screen event but i can validate individually fields also with the help of which event add selection screen on field if i will specify field name order date so it will validate order date if i will specify payment mode it will validate payment mode if i will specify currency it will validate currency anyways when practical we start you will see the real differences between both of them now what is the second difference with, uh, between both of the event in case of add selection screen suppose i am giving a wrong value suppose i am going for add selection screen event now with the help of add selection screen event we can validate multiple fields we can validate multiple fields suppose i gave a wrong value of the payment mode so when i will give a wrong value of the payment mode yes i will get a message that please enter the valid value of payment mode but this payment mode will not be highlighted will not be highlighted if customer is saying yes please highlight this payment mode we need to write a explicit logic anyways we will write the logic so in case of add selection screen event whenever you want to highlight a wrong value you need to write a explicit logic logic but in case of add selection screen on field suppose i am writing add selection screen on payment mode payment mode so whenever i will give the wrong value of the payment mode this input field will be automatically highlighted so main main difference you can see when the practical will start so in case of add selection screen event whenever you want to highlight a wrong whenever you want to highlight a wrong input we need to write a logic explicit logic but in case of add selection screen on field there is no need to write the logic it will automatically be highlighted now what is the third difference between both of them in case of add selection screen suppose i gave a wrong value to the currency okay so i will get a message that please pass the please the currency value is incorrect or pass the right value of the currency so i will get a message but all these fields will remain unable unable so they they will not be disabled i am passing a wrong value of currency it will remain unable it will remain unable it will remain unable but if you are validating if you are validating a specific field using add selection screen on field suppose i am writing add selection screen on currency 
then what will happen if i will pass a wrong value of the currency this field only will remain unable unable other will become disabled so that i can correct the value of this currency just see the differences anyways when tactical will be there full clarity you will get whenever you are validating through at selection screen event so in that case we are passing wrong value of currency but other fields will also also remain unable but whenever you are going for at selection screen on field if you are validating through at selection screen on field then in that is only that particular field will remain unable we gave a wrong value to the currency so that particular field will remain unable other will become automatically disabled this is the real differences between both of the event and once the practical will be there you will get yes based upon customer requirement you need to use which particular event now if i will go for the summary important video because we covered so many important points in this video so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the event at selection screen on field field means specific field specific field now at what time this event will trigger on what action this event will trigger this event also require action from our end whenever you will perform some action on to the selection screen or input screen action can be anything it can be enter or click this particular event will trigger now at selection screen at selection screen on field both event trigger whenever we are performing some action on to the selection screen or input screen then what is the major differences between both of them at selection screen is used to validate multiple input fields multiple input field means with the help of at selection screen i can validate this also i can validate this also i can validate this also it's my wish but with the help of at selection screen on field word itself is saying you are specifying a particular field which you want to validate so the first major difference between both of them is at selection screen is used to validate multiple input at selection screen on field is used to validate a single input a particular input at a time now in case of at selection screen if you gave a wrong input if you gave a wrong input and customer bought that that wrong input should be highlighted then in that case we need to write a explicit logic it will not highlight automatically but if you are going for at selection screen on field if you are using this event so whatever the field you are specifying if the wrong value is for that field it will be automatically highlighted this is the main benefit yes sir no explicit logic required it will highlight automatically now the third difference between both of them if you are giving wrong value to any of the input and you are using at selection screen event so all fields remain unable only they not no one not no input field will become disabled but if you are using at selection screen on field so whatever the field you are specifying if the wrong input is for that field that field will only remain unable so that you can correct the input and other will become disabled 
so now anyways in the next video we will see the practical of all these three point and you will get a full idea that depends upon the customer requirement you need to use which particular email so that's it in this video thank you